This red line represents roughly the level of the axial section. And this picture also shows you a diagrammatic representation of the brain, the same picture which I had shown earlier, and the axial section has gone approximately at this level. And this is yet another picture to show you the level of section. Once we take an axial section and we look at the brain from the top, this is what is referred to as the axial view of the internal capsule. And what do we see? So we see this cut section of the brain. An axial section has been taken as demonstrated in the previous slide. So this is the right cerebral hemisphere. This is the left cerebral hemisphere. This also shows the same thing. This is actually an MRI image and this is a diagrammatic representation of a section of the brain. Let's focus straight on the most important part of our discussion that is the internal capsule. We see this Y-shaped or V-shaped structure on this side and this V-shaped structure on this side. These are the two internal capsules. Mind you, these fibers are projection fibers because they are descending down or ascending up in a vertical axis. What we are seeing here is basically the cut section, the axial section. Just to bring, bring us up to speed, the relationships of the internal capsule are, here we see the structure here. This is the caudate nucleus, which I had mentioned earlier. This whole composite structure that we see here, this is the lentiform nucleus. It is called the lentiform because it is roughly shaped like a lens, a convex lens. And this structure that we see here, this is the thalamus. So this is the right side internal capsule. As we can see that the lentiform nucleus has indented the internal capsule from the lateral aspect. And therefore, the internal capsule, which should have been a straight vertical sheet of white matter, has become roughly V-shaped. And that's what gives us the parts of the internal capsule. Namely, this portion of the internal capsule is referred to as the anterior limb of the internal capsule, which is located between the caudate nucleus medially and the lentiform nucleus laterally. This portion of the internal capsule is referred to as the posterior limb of the internal capsule, which is situated between the thalamus medially and the lentiform nucleus laterally. And this curved portion of the internal capsule, which joins the two limbs, is referred to as the genome of the internal capsule. The genome in Latin means a knee or a bend. So this is the internal capsule as seen in an axial section. Just a quick word before. Why is this called the word capsule? In the initial stages of learning, when anatomists dissected an axial section of the brain, they saw this sheet of white matter here and they saw a thin sheet of white matter on the lateral aspect of the lentiform nucleus. So they said that the lentiform nucleus is enclosed in a sheet of white matter on the medial side and a sheet of white matter on the lateral side and they called it a capsule. So therefore they named this the internal capsule and they named this sheet of white, thin sheet of white matter on the lateral aspect as the external capsule, but that is just a matter of historical interest. Now in the next slide, what I'm going to demonstrate is what are the various fiber tracts which are running in the anterior